hello everybody welcome back to the channel Andrea here so um, here are my completed pages for February obviously you're all aware of what's happened there's not as many as normal there's still a few of mine I've got one two three four five six seven eight books and three PDF pages so uh, I'll just go through them with you so uh, from the PDF pages the, the first one here this is from Ava Brown's Littleville 2. Um, I am a member of the Ava Brown launch team so I get a free PDF of all the current books they put out. I was before and then I stopped doing it because I just didn't have the time and now <laughs> I'm back into it and back onto it so and that was the first one I did. I really really like that book it's really cute and I also did this one this one was done using the Amazon 72 pencils so it's me just playing around with them. The first one was just various markers, obviously. So those are those are from Littleville 2. And then the next one, which is again markers, was from um, Secret Village Spring. You must bear with me while I try and remember things. My mind is all over the place. And I cannot remember the, the day of the week it is or even who I am half the time. So again, this was done using various markers, a mixture of the touch markers from TikTok shop and the big box I've got that I just use to uh, colour down here. So yeah, I, I did I did enjoy colouring them. Don't get me wrong, I'm still enjoying my colouring. Um, I'm just finding it hard to concentrate and it's taking me a lot, a lot longer than normal to colour things. So I was doing this one for Valentine's Day. As you can tell, my Valentine's Day was a bit of a shit one because of everything that happened. Um, we passed on the 12th. This is Dainty Damsel's Valentine's Collection by Jane Sheets. And I have had this one for ages and never coloured in it. So I started doing this at the beginning of the month. And I stopped, obviously. And then at the end of the month, I decided I'd go back and I'll finish it. So literally all I had done was her lips, her skin and her hair. The rest of it, I didn't. And I finished it off um, and... Some of this gel pen is the, the new gel pens from Calm Over Chaos, some of them are Link Shine, um, just depends. But yeah, it's a really nice little book actually, I'm glad I finally coloured in that one. That's one off of my uh, Colour Your Hood 2024. <laughs> I did one in Positive Quotes by Jane Summer. I did Here Comes the Sun though, obviously I don't feel that the sun's ever going to come out again. It will. Um, and this again was done with the new glitter markers from Karma the Chaos. You can see how shiny they are on this one. Um, the pink and the brush pens from Karma of Chaos as well on those. Um, that took a while just because I started doing it then I stopped. Because I have days when I want to do loads and I have days when I don't want to do anything much. So I'm just taking it as I can if I feel like colouring. I will colour and if I don't I won't. Same with reading. Magic Jars. I do love this book. Picked this up when Paul went to get his eyes tested and I did finish that one this month of The Little Duckies in the Glass Jar and this was done using the majority of the pencils with the Scribblicious ones from the works um, and then I got the grey is a Black Widow because there's no actual real grey there's no grey at all in them so that yeah so use a couple of black widows as well um excuse me just to do it but i i, I think this book is ever so cute i want to do some more in this one it's ever such a sweet little book i did one in relax with our issue 109 i got so many of these i haven't colored in that i'm trying to color in them and this was done one night when paul was out and me and jennifer upstairs we were both coloring in bed together we were watching tv and coloring and i did this rather purpley pinky psychedelic octopus uh using the oh who who was it the oh who who water brush markers i think it was yes because I've got so many different markers as well upstairs but we did that one and it's really nice I really like that it was fun I did one in 50 gorgeous patterns colour by number I think I only got this last month and I did this one and this was done using the touch markers from TikTok shop 
but this is the peach from the first set and this is the peach from the second set so the second set colours is different but that's okay I, I mean I like that I might to try and do one in these books again I think it's going to be mostly a pattern easy colour by number kind of month to be fair <laughs> Um, I did one from Easy Mandala's Colour by Number. Uh, this again is Sachan's Diva. I love this book. It's so simple. Again, various the touch markers and my big box of markers that's down here. They stay down here. They're by the sofa. Me and Jen just use them whenever we feel like colouring. And yeah, so um, this book just pretty much stays down here because it's just easy to colour in. I only did two pages on my books to finish. Obviously, I wasn't really in the mood for a lot of colouring in February. I will get back to it. The books I plan on finishing, I will still finish. It's just going to take me a few more months. So I did this one with the uh, the, the black and the red from A and Arts glit pen, and the gold is a Link Shine. And I didn't want to do lots of different colours, so I just did just three. I started out with the black. And I was tempted to leave some of them white, but, and I know you can, and I don't know why I don't, but I never do. Um, and then I put the red in, and then I thought, we'll use gold. Because greens are too dark, the blues are too dark, the purple's too dark, the pink's too dark, we'll use gold. Could have used silver, but I used gold. And then the very last picture for the month, like I said, I didn't do much, was again 50 Easy Mandalas. This was done with those ones I got... Uh, those glitter gel pens or those glitter pens I bought the other month I can't think of what they're called but they're not like um, Aeon or anything like that they were just a few glitter pens and it looks quite nice it's not bad but uh, those are all the ones I did this month I think my favourite is the ducks in the jars if you've got a favourite let me know which one it is and hopefully things will get back to normal and I'll see you very soon bye everybody bye